All right, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, today is May 10th. It's the uh, monthly uh, meeting for the planning board. Uh, if everybody could please stand and say Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, um, first item on our agenda is uh, Regency at Glen Ellen update. Um, had a couple of updates on that. They, uh, Beta, our uh, engineer, had gone through and um, they had found some winter um, uh, trash which had blown off from the construction site and a couple of the housekeeping issues uh, they had gone through and They've tuned that up uh, to get it to where there should be. Um, the other item that we wanted to talk about was the uh, parking area. So when we did the um, special permit, uh, one thing that we neglected to walk through was um, a staging area for the, um, the equipment for the snow removal. Uh, so what Glen Ellen has decided to do is they've put the snow removal um, equipment in the very front of the building and of uh, the uh, project, sorry, right near Orchard Street, uh, along with a trailer, and um, which is uh, fine for the residents of the, uh, the, uh, the project. However, it, it did put them towards the uh, abutting neighbors. And also, um, they had won one of the storms, the new contractor that they had just hired was extremely exuberant on getting started to beat the storm. Um, so they thought that 2.30 in the morning was the best time just to uh, turn the equipment on and run the front end loaders over the um, rumble strips uh, in the entryway and <clears throat> uh, load up all the, the, the sand and salt and store the snow in the front parking lot. So uh, we had... Uh, touch base with the homeowners association and look to see if they could maybe <clears throat> either find a different location for the uh, storage of the equipment and the salt and sand or work with the contractor to maybe have the uh, plowing of non-necessary areas <clears throat> start a little later. So I understand, you know, life and safety is one thing. The town, they plow all night, we got it. They were doing parking lots. They were doing sidewalks. Uh, that wasn't a necessarily thing to do, um, and if it could be adjusted, so um, you know they do what they have to, you know, at two o'clock in the morning, and then maybe four o'clock in the morning, they start to do the other things. That might be something that we would be interested in seeing happen. So I talked to Ted Merchant, and <clears throat> he was going to touch base with the homeowners association. Um, and I, I'd say the thing for the planning board is, you, you know, uh, the, if we do have another special permit, along with snow storage areas, I think we ought to probably put, think about, you know, where are you guys going to store this stuff? And, you know, should we have it where, you know, hey, you don't do parking lots at 2 o'clock in the morning, you do the roads, and then, you know, maybe later on, um, just because it's, you know, a little, it was a little loud. <laughs> so... Anyhow, that was that. Um, <clears throat> and the next item, which we can't go till till 7.45, so. We can do, uh, we can skip down to uh, other business, and there's a plan to endorse. Um, okay. The Rock Their site plan was already approved, and the appeal period has ended, so you can just make a motion to approve their uh, site plan. Okay. And endorse it. And All right. You can go sign that. Cool. That'll, that'll eat up a few minutes. Um, so I make a motion that we approve the or s approve the previously approved site plan for 813 Main Street uh, approval of propane tank installation. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So we can go sign that, and that'll keep us busy for a yeah, couple minutes. Really <laughs> Kill some time. There you go. No, oh, you get actually, do you guys want me to bring it to you guys? We can I do it over there. I You're think right? I'm going to learn to do these things for myself. Okay. <laughs> There's three copies to sign. 
And you don't need to, um, you can just use a regular pen because it's not a mylar. And if you wouldn't mind just putting, uh, let me see, did they put an approval date on there? George Jared for to be an associate member. Uh, George has a little bit of knowledge about the, the planning board, so I think he would be an excellent choice to recommend to the selectman. Select I board, sorry. Agree, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Should we have him come up and introduce himself? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Scott. A for four eleven union. I would back that as a, as a citizen. I, I watched George for twenty something years on this board, and I think. His voice is important to this town, and I think as an associate member, it's there's a lot of things that he, he coming down the pike that it's going to be important to have that extra voice within the board. So, uh, well, I, I recommend it as well. I think he's great. Thank you. Thanks, All right, thanks, Scott. All right, um, so I make a motion to approve uh, George Aaron. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Actually, Aye. we don't approve him. We have to recommend. Oh, right. well, we recommend it to the select board. Yeah, but. I did say that earlier, didn't I? Okay. I did. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> Anyhow. All right. Um, next item is the approval of the minutes from April 12th, 2022. I read the minutes and they were correct as usual. Can I get a second? Second. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. <clears throat> Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the back, you can look at the McDonald's um, Oh, okay. Email. We can talk about that. Yeah, that's good. All right. <clears throat> so in, in other business, um, they're... No, in correspondence. That's because we can't supposed to work. Oh, sorry. Correspondence. In correspondence, um, there was a, a request from McDonald's um, to look at the existing landscaping that abuts the um, the little plaza on Milliston Place. Um, so there's some established opportunities there, and according to their plan, uh, they were going to have to encroach onto those plants, which would then uh, need them to be cut down. And it seems a bit silly to cut down, you know, fully established trees and or you know their bush tree type of thing, and you know to put in new little trees. So um, they wanted to go back to the developer and figure out exactly what they wanted to do, but I wanted to go to the board and see if, <clears throat> you know, if it makes sense for us to allow them to, you know, plant in front of those, um, if that works with their, their layout versus, um, um, you know, having those established bushes cut down. Like I said, if it works for their, their their design. Mr. Chair? Ms. Rowley? Their email states that they actually want to request from the property owner of uh, the plaza to t pull those up because they feel that planting their items, their 
plantings along that edge, the arborvitaes are going to encroach. It seems to me um, that we either, we either request that they use some of that plantings on another location on the lot, or in lieu of that, that they make a donation to the tree fund. Okay. Because, as you said, those that you can in the picture, these are well established. I mean, I don't know, they, they're almost as high as the fence, so I'm right. assuming that's they're five, they're at least five feet tall. Yeah. Um, as you said, there's no reason to rip them down, and if they were to plant something along them. I would assume these are providers are going to choke out whatever new planting they put in. No, I think they might be all right. I mean, I think we should no. we should defer to them to what they you know what they say. But I mean, in, yeah, in my give them mind, the option. give them the option. No, and I agree that makes sense. Is you know you guys could you, know, you that you could leave them um, you know and plant in front of them or uh, you know they could reduce the amount of plantings they have. Mr. Go ahead. Uh, the uh, yeah it, they, again it, their concern is that they're if they trim them they will grow back. Mm -hmm. To which I would say if they grow back they can trim them further. Yeah. And maintain their new plantings as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see what they come back with. I just wanted to see what you guys had. A this is just a follow-up email that they sent this yeah. afternoon because they could not make the meeting. Right. And so with the follow-up email they sent, um, uh, we are not able to. Attend the meeting tonight to discuss. McDonald's is planning to touch base with the abutting property on the potential landscape changes, and we'll follow back up when we have a firmer understanding of what specifically the proposed landscaping changes would entail in addition to the, the shrubs being removed. So do we want to send an email back to them and say that <clears throat> the Planning Board's opinion is to, if they could work with their, with the existing larger, if they take them down, they're not putting up they're not going to put up 15 foot arborvitaes. They're going to put up little rinky dink things, and then we'll be looking at the back side of that other building. I, I yeah, personally think it's going to be several years before those the new arborvitaes reach that was built the in height and width of 1982, these 1982, because that was big deal when we was in high school that McDonald's was coming to Millis. So that was a big deal at Dover <laughs> Sherman that McDonald's was coming to Millis. Do we recall what their plantings are? No, not off the top. I pulled, I did look at the map, at the, the map, at the plan, and there are, um, I want to say four or five larger, and then there's a bunch of smaller wow. things that eventually, but they are going to be, ground. you know, ground, a lot of it is ground cover with, um, then I think that's their concern about it growing over because they were going to have ground cover with, say, five trees. Sure. Um, and even when those trees are matured, they're not going to provide the wall of blockage that yeah. these are providing to. Yeah, so do the trimming and trim as necessary down the road. It seems to be yeah. adequate. I mean, they don't need open, a lot of open space around their plantings. They just need room for the planting. That's fine. So do we want to send a memo back to them stating something to that sort? That would be my preference. Okay. Well, that's fine. We can do that. You will. Um, we can write it up and I can... I could send it for you guys to so review. So we want them to do the planting abutting up to the our variety, or? Well, I would say we, we would, uh, the goal would be, our goal would be to maintain the arborvitaes. However they do it, I don't care. Okay. And then yeah, we'll I see would, what they I would prefer to. to see the arborvitae right. remain. Yeah. yeah. Um, because I think that provides, it does provide coverage just when you're driving down the street. You're mm. not seeing the back of, of that, that, por that part of the yeah. plaza. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if yeah, I agree. If they want to plant in front of it, they can plant in front of okay. it and do a lot of trimming. All right, we'll we'll put something together and send it out. You guys can send it back to Camille because we can't deliberate, yeah. <laughs> but we can yep. we can uh, mm -hmm. we can take a look at that. Okay. Oh, it actually has the plan right here. Yeah, so they're showing little ones and some big ones. Yeah. All right. Ooh, so and the five. Right. Sure. Yeah, it seems manageable. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it seems yeah. Yeah. That should be doable. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit of maintenance. Okay. All right. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. Great. Okay. 
All right, and now it being 745, um, <clears throat> we have a uh, special permit uh, for with site plan appro approval, public hearing continued for 1375 Main Street. Um, this is to be continued without discussion um, to uh, next month. It could be continued to June 7th at 7.30 p.m. Uh, yeah, okay, to June 7th at 7.30 p.m. Town of Millis Office of the Planning Board Notice of Public Hearing. In accordance with the provisions of Chapter 40A, Section 11, Mass General Law, the Planning Board will hold a public hearing on Tuesday, May 10th, 2022 at 7.45 p.m. in the Veterans Memorial Building, room 229, 900 Main Street, Millis, on the application of Tony Verzura, sorry, I apologize, Adversa Wellness, Inc., 1375 Main Street, Suite B, requesting a special permit for with site plan approval, of the zoning board of the zoning bylaw of the town of Millis for proposed manufacturing marijuana establishment in a portion of an existing industrial building located at 1375 Main Street, Suite B, Millis, Mass. Assessors Map 21, Parcel 5, Owner LNL Realty Holdings. A copy of the application and site plan is on file in the office of the town clerk and can be viewed on the Millis Planning Board's webpage. Any person interested or wishing to be heard on the application should appear at the time and place designated. Richard Nichols, Chair. All right, and as I said earlier, that one's to be continued without discussion till um, June 7th at 7.30. Do uh, I make a motion to continue? Oh, yes. I make a motion to continue the public hearing to June 7th without discussion. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. <clears throat> Um, do you want to make a July? Uh, sure. We have June 7th. If we could do a July one, that would be great. Well, I don't want to do the fifth. Is no, it, no. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we get the 12th, uh, the 19th, and the 26th. Anyone have any preference? It's all good. The 12th is fine. I can't have 12th? the 12th. Yeah. You can't? No. Okay. It's my mother's birthday. No, that's fine. 19th? Is that too late for you? If we do the 19th? We don't have any applications yet, and we, as long as we hold the hearing within 60 days, so I think we should be okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. July 19th. 19th, yep. Do you want to do an August one while we're at it, or do you want to wait? It's up to you guys. Sure, why not? Um, no? nine? Sure. You want to do, how's the ninth work for everybody on the, on August? Let's do it. <coughs> Honestly. And we can certainly change that because I don't post till a month in advance. So, okay. so tentatively for August 9th? All right. Um, <clears throat> and not that we're bringing it up right now, but um, there was a pending item, which was the approval of 1375 um, Main Street uh, Canopy Solar Project. Um, that is also on hold. Um, which we had to approve the as-built plans. Uh, there's an issue with the building permit, which is holding that up. So, what is this? Is this something we need to talk about? That is, no, that's the one. That, oh, that one. Oh, yeah, we could. <coughs> um, Actually, so if you look in your packet, there was um, Beta had suggested um, putting together a uh, guideline for contractors um, for applications. So they end up knowing what uh, applications they should f they should file for and how to go about doing it. And 
uh, we thought that would be a good idea to proceed with that. Um, so <clears throat> now I can read the, since we have a minute, I will read the uh, memo from Beta. Um, Dear Mr. Nichols, Beta Group has been providing engineering review services for land development projects permitting in the town since 2015. This has included site plan and special permits for the planning board, EHIR review for the Board of Health, NOI and stormwater review for Conservation Commission, and stormwater and land disturbance for the select board. While Beta has become accustomed to the permitting paths required for various types of projects, it's not necessarily clear to applicants <clears throat> or town staff at the onset of the project to what permits are required. This letter re re provides a scope and fee for Beta to provide a town with a land development permitting guidance flowchart document to aid town staff and applicants in understanding what is required to for a permitting uh, project. So <clears throat> this will basically help out everybody. It'll help out the town and it'll help out the, the uh, developers to know which uh, permits that they need to go for. So they'll be able to do that. And I, I would imagine they would have, uh, we've actually probably ought to talk to her about how long the f it would take to. You know, it's not just, uh, you know, here, he, here's the steps, but I would, I would probably ask her to put an anticipated time frame on it. That she could. Yeah, it's yeah. more of a flow chart, I right. think, just so the developer knows. Right. But, yeah. you know, know, knowing that is, you know, I know if, you know, if somebody applies for something, it has to go through one or two meeting cycles. So that's going to be 60 days. So it probably would be good for a, a developer or mm -hmm. um, just to have a, a, you know, an idea of what the you know, usual time frame of that would be. Mr. Chair? Ms. Rudd? Um, I see that the fee for this from Beta would be not to exceed $1,500. It would be my suggestion to you as chair to send a notice of, of this to um, Bob Weiss, the economic development. My reason for this mm -hmm. only being is that I know that the town of Medway just recently received a grant to cover the cost of this. Oh, right. Not to ask for his input in it, yeah. but to see if there, if he's aware of any grants that could cover the expense of this. Okay, we can do that. We we have the money in the budget. That's okay. why. That's why we were. But if we can get it for as a grant, that would be good. Yeah, I just okay. we we have to use it or lose it. That was the right. That, yeah, that was the that was the impotence of. Uh, okay. of but we can ask that um, tomorrow. I'll do that. Okay. No, I will. Be good. Um, our next meeting is next week, so mm -hmm. I'll ensure that it's on the agenda okay. and that it is simply with regards cool. to granting. Yeah. If, no, if we can get it, if we can get it if the through state the state. Can, if, yeah. yeah, if the state can pay for it. That'd be good. Yeah, just we have to, <clears throat> we have our year in budget that we mm -hmm. have to, so if, it, if the process took longer. <laughs> right. Well, if there's, and there's time, there's a lot of these grants, they'll open on a certain date, and mm -hmm. if we're looking to do it now, it may not fall into the into the time frame of a current grant okay um but it may just be some if he's aware of something that we can okay. submit and it's not too time consuming to do okay try. cool do you want to sign some bills sure when it's not my money i'm happy to sign <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Oh, I guess we could do that. So, <laughs> anyhow, for uh, you in the uh, at the home audience, uh, we have the uh, agenda previously posted, um, so we're not allowed to actually start until the uh, item comes up and the next item is set for eight o'clock. So that's why we're 
That's why we're on slow motion and we're killing time. So we've got five minutes, so. It's a public hearing, so it can't start. So, so if go you're, get a snack I was gonna back. say, yeah, if you're at home, you could run out, get a snack. <laughs> we're not afforded the same luxury. <laughs> Take the dogs yeah. for a quick walk. Don't go near I was about to say, you can hear my dog probably from across the street. Do we have any town updates? Um, <clears throat> we didn't get a town update from this this uh, we, month, we, we, however. We put one together for um, I'm trying to think if, if there's anything. They're still working at Glen Ellen. Um, they're plugging the lay OA over that. And they, let's see. Oh, uh, Emerson Place, they are um, they're waiting for uh, pipe to come in over there to work on the water lines. Uh, they've been doing some drainage work. And um, they're waiting for uh, an approval on the uh, bridge that go the culvert that goes over the that little seasonal stream, um, and so they'll be doing a little bit of work over there. They've put in they're working on the foundations for the model homes, so they're gonna uh, put those in. Um, and what else? Uh, they did cut down trees over on 109 near Latch Road. I did see that. Yeah, um, some land clearing back yeah there. but that's that's not under our jurisdiction. Uh, that's a uh, that was an, uh, uh, some uh, I think it's affordable housing or is it apartments? One of the one of the two. I think it's affordable. Yeah. Okay. So it's an affordable housing complex on 109. Um, yeah, that is affordable. Okay. I mean, affordable. Right. So. And beyond that, there really wasn't a lot else going on. So, the assisted living's moving along. With with uh, oh on they, which one? Oh, and uh, oh, sorry on oh, on bridge. Yeah, yeah, sorry yeah. about that. I keep on feeling about. It. Yes, uh, the the project on Bridge Street is going along. Actually, they did reach out to the select board. Um, the select board had approved a sign um, on Bridge Street. The initial approval. Um, package from the um, from the uh, company um, had the sign um, and it was by magic of uh, Photoshop there were no trees around it <coughs> in when reality there are some trees so they're they're going back to the uh, to the uh, select board for um, to see if they could remove trees and also they may change the size of the sign which they'd have to go to ZBA if they did that. They started uh, the outbuildings, so aside from the main building, they'll be. I haven't been up there. Yeah, yeah other than oh, they have. Now. Okay, yeah. I, I, you know more than I do. I, I, I see it on Bridge Street when I'm driving by at 40 miles an hour. So. 40 miles an hour on that road, huh? No, that's the speed limit. Mm -hmm. um, if you just came <laughs> in, if you could sign in, please. Um, and our, we got one minute. How are you, Mr. Nichols? <clears throat> Good, thank you. Been a while? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Well. Chair? Yes. I am going to, on the next public hearing, I'm in Good butter, so right. I'm going to recuse, recuse myself. Okay. Uh, and do take you want to read it, Alan? Or, oh, or should we let the... Oh, gosh. Your responsibility. You read things to the, yeah. <laughs> you read things to your uh, kids, so we can let Josh do it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, I think it's close enough to 8 o'clock. Um, so now it being 8 o'clock, uh, we have a special permit application for earth removal, public hearing continued, for uh, 4,500 yards of loam at Blueberry Lane for construction of two homes. If you could read the... Great, yeah. Town of Mills, Office of the Planning Board, notice of public hearing. In accordance with the provisions of Chapter 40A, Section 11 MGL, the Planning Board will hold a public hearing on Tuesday, May 10th, 2022, at 8 p.m. in the Veterans Memorial Building, Room 229, 900 Main Street, Millis, on the application of Michael Curatola, Silva Development, 65 Cape Road, Mendon, 
Massachusetts 01756, requesting a special permit under Section 13, Special Permit Conditions, Paragraph F, for removal of 4,500 yards of sandy loam for construction of two homes at lots 5, 6, and 7 Blueberry Lane. Assessor Map 39, Parcels 65, 66, and 67. Copy of the application site plan is on file in the Office of the Town Clerk and can be viewed on the government website. Any person interested or wishing to be heard on the application should appear at the time and place designated Richard Nichols Chair. All right. Um, so the first thing we want to say is that the uh, applicant who is here tonight uh, would want decided that they would like to remove the uh, application for earth removal uh, without prejudice. Yes. So um, I make a motion that we. Uh, okay, that's a good point. All right. All right, so yeah, okay, we'll do that first. Um, so there was actually some correspondence um, from some of the neighbors. So before we close the public hearing, yep. if, uh, if any of the neighbors, if they want to get up and express any concerns. Um, Good evening, uh, Matt Miller, uh, 3 Blueberry Lane. Uh, just following up to one of the emails uh, that we had sent last night, uh, sort of representing the, uh, the, the neighbors. Uh, just a lot of dust uh, that has really spilled out into all the homes. And, you know, this time of year, obviously, without any snow, without any, anything to kind of prevent it, it's going to probably get worse before it gets better. And so that was sort of the, uh, the intent behind the, uh, the email from the Miller family last night. So um, anything to add on that? Pretty much just any, okay. any, are any questions on that or any back and forth? No, um, I mean, that's, we understand the, the, the issue. Uh, at this point in time, the item that was in front of us was the earth removal process, permit, sorry. and. Since they're withdrawing it, um, at, at this point in time, other than being able to uh, receive your input, um, there is not much we can do. That'll have to go to the building department, and um, and you know I'm sure the developer will work with uh, with them to um, you know do whatever needs to be done to mitigate that dust the dust issues. Okay. So, but thank you for bringing that forward. Sure. Good thank luck. you. Um, does anyone else have anything? All right, I make a motion that we accept the withdrawal of the special permit application. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, great. Thank you. Thank All you. right, good. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okay. And yeah, I know. I'm going to do that next. Hold on. <laughs> All right, I make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. All right. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Thank you. He was quicker. All right. I think beyond that, I think that was it we had for tonight. Rockies. No, we did Rockies. Yeah. We did that. We, we signed it, remember? It. Oh, the, oh, the signing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I think it was, right. we were Speedy Gonzalez <laughs> tonight. Yeah, no so. yeah, we did. All right. Um, with nothing else, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All right, motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. All right, Aye. great. Thank you, everybody.